Hi, I hope you're doing great today and having a wonderful day. I just wanted to congratulate the ladies for dressing simply during the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Here we see Megan Markle, black hat, simple makeup, simple dress, gloves, small earrings, no, no jewelry on her chest. Dress goes down below the knee, simple black shoes. She was not letting the media have any opportunity to try to criticize or focus, become abnormally focused on any part of her dressing for these days. Keeping it simple, they had nothing to comment on. So what did they comment on? You know they were gonna pick something. They commented on the color of her makeup. They thought it was too dark. They said she should have used lighter makeup. Her eyes were too smoky. She had on eyeliner. The media is just crazy. Abnormally focused, crazy, and just can't let a woman dress as she wants to dress. She's a young person. You know, she's going to want to dress up sometime, but I think it was great for her. No brooch. Cover her hands. They can't talk about her ring or her fingernail polish. Keep it real simple. And Kate did the same. Of course, Kate did wear some jewelry, but she didn't hit the jewelry box like she could have. And she kept it pretty simple to keep the media from getting sidetracked and too focused on clothing. Both ladies had their hair up in a bun so there was nothing to discuss there. That was great thinking and I think they did a great job. Very simple. Here we see Megan. Simple hat. And there's the eye, eye, um, eye coloring, the smoky eyes that they were focused on. They have to pick something. Teeny earrings. Neck simple. No brooches. She wasn't giving them the opportunity to change the focus from the queen to her clothing, like they always do. And that was a great choice. Again, simple hat, no ribbon, no bow. No jewelry, teeny, teeny earrings. Those are the eyes they focused on. Neck, what was the color of that makeup? They were very interested. Did she pick a right shade? Nothing, no, no necklace. No brooches, no pins. She kept it very simple, and I think that worked out well for the events because they could not turn, change the focus from what the event was supposed to be focused on, the death and burying of Queen Elizabeth, 
to what was Meghan Markle wearing and how much did it cost? And they said this is a dress that she had worn uh, previously. And so the cost also was not going to be something that the media could talk about to try to change the focus. Now poor Char uh, little Charlotte, she wore a very simple brooch on her coat, which was a tiny horseshoe. And the media can't stop talking about that tiny little horseshoe that she wore as a decoration. It's very easy when these broadcasters are bored what they do is focus on anything and anything can get them off on a tangent. I did that once at a funeral where I was very emotionally involved. It was a relative that I really liked and I was very sad to see pass. Recently, like one day before the event, I got a new dog, which I couldn't leave at home. So I took the puppy with me to a reception. It was very, very helpful in breaking the focus of the death of the relative. Everybody wanted to come over and say something about the puppy. They wanted to ask how old the puppy was, how when I got it, comment on how well behaved it was, and just look at the puppy. It was something that was relieving the tension, relieving the depression, changing the focus, and for that event, it turned out to be very good. But for these media events, it's not good. Because when they change the focus, it's going to be held as a negative as in all. So, good going ladies. Keeping the focus on the queen. Not giving them anything at all that they can refocus on. Even Meghan and Harry holding hands that one time, you will note that when they marched again behind the coffin, they did not stand next to each other. They did not hold hands. Meghan held her hands in front of her, holding a clutch. And so they relieved that focus point for the media because any little thing can get them off track and get them onto some nonsensical topic. So good going and I hope you guys do this in the future until the media is used to Megan and they can stop focusing on all this minutia. Please like and subscribe. Bye.